Hello humans, Sheffrey here. I'm a professional food person. In my career as a restaurant chef, I have made a lot of dessert. Usually something delightful that complements a wholesome meal. Something like this chocolate tort. Tort. Noun. A sweet cake or tart. A chocolate tort. What joy. At home, I find myself steering away from a labor-intensive handmade treat and not wanting the sweetness of a heavily manufactured convenience food gas station cake. Got <laughs> out of here, fly. So these days I try to fixate on something a little bit more healthful. You guessed it, fruit. Welcome to the Irrelevant Food Guide to Cooking. Did you say you're looking for some fruit? I've got some great vitamin plum right here. Freshly brought in from a tropical paradise. Chile. So, South America. But I live in not South America. Why do I need this fruit? Well, it's a marvel of modern genetics, industry, and marketing. They Pull it off the tree when it's still unwrapped. Pack it in a shipping container and bring it to the other side of the globe. All you have to do is stroll into this grocery store and any time of the year and just pluck this miracle from the shelf. Isn't capitalism wonderful? This is one mega buff plum. Oh, it's so crunchy, and it's a bit one note. I think it's a sour one, too. Well, if you want flavor, go to a farmer's market, hippie. But first, observe this. A seductively engineered strawberry. This one is manufactured for longer shelf life, yield, pigmentation, and insect resistance. Delicious. Oh, 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 oh. Jumbo, my favorite flavor. <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, this tastes like cardboard. Where's the flavor? It's like propaganda against fruit. This madness must stop. I'll be in my invention shed. We call that room the bathroom. Let's make a fruit salad. Yes, I noticed there's a cucumber in there. It's a fruit. Get over it. So I like to cut this off the pit, like so. Focus on bite-sized pieces that can fit easily in a fork or a spoon. Do I need to note that I wash this fruit? I like cutting the end off of the cucumber so I can make these nice long peels. Kind of like you're mowing the lawn. You wouldn't ooh, hit the same spot twice. Right, I'm gonna cut this lengthwise in half to expose the seeds. I'm scooping them out with a cereal spoon for no other reason than I don't want to add any excess moisture to this mix. Cut them into nice planks. Cut those planks into similar size chunks. Who's next? Banana? Yeah, do this funky turn cut if you want. Or you can cut things in the right angles. I'm cool with that too. You do you. Express yourself through fruit. This is a smaller sized melon. Cut the top and the bottom parallel so you can set it on a flat surface. 
then you know you've already seen someone do this right you go all the way around the only thing I could add is make a sharp knife take your time this is practice right no one gets great at anything overnight you got to practice this over and over even if it, that's just even if that's just like every summer you're gonna try again breaking down a melon break it down every week right eat melon you're never gonna have a problem if you eat too much melon right then here we are cut in half expose our seed pods I'm gonna take the spoon and scoop out the guts don't go too deep with the guts that's a lot of delicious ripe flavor in there just enough so you don't have a total mess right I like laying things down flat so they don't scoop too much especially this juicy melon this is a lemon drop melon by the way if you find one of these that's ripe I would do it it's as sour as it is sweet and it is pretty sweet blackberries no one really needs to cut these up I just do because I aesthetically like tiny little pieces of blackberry in a few bites so here's my Here's my real commentary on strawberries. Just give it a funky hairdo, pop that green part off, and that's all you have to do. Right? Everyone tries to cut a whole top section off. I think it's a total waste. That's good fiber. It's fruit after all, and it's clean. We washed it. So again, following the theme of no right angles ever. Then cherry, here's the secret, right? See this metal straw? You can, well, let's see, there's a few ways to do this. You can pop it out there, right? Try it again. That's kind of a pain, right? Other ways you can do a smash, right? And then even just tear the pit out. And then otherwise consider this like an avocado. Oh, God. Consider this like an avocado, right? An avocado has a pit. We all know how we do that, right? We cut around, twist it, and then even cut around again, and then pull it out. Don't do that swinging knife thing. It's never gonna work. You know, I could tell you how much yogurt to use, but you know, just use your mind. If you wanna learn how to cook, here's my truth. Don't blindly follow a recipe unless you're clueless of what you're making. Make it your own. This amount of fruit, a few big scoops of unsweetened Greek yogurt, and a big spoonful of local honey. Extra points if you know the beekeeper's name. Thanks, Art. Jeff, I'm tired of eating this confounded consard wellness food. I have invented a way to turn any of that dirt meat into a luscious confection. Presenting the teleporter. Teleporter? Bustard, where are you going? Not teleporter, teleporter. It transforms boring food into cake. Let me show you. Carrot. Carrot, 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 carrot. Bing! Carrot cake. Bustard, have you turned magician? Second dish. For this dish, we're gonna use some fancy mold that's probably been on your wall for a few years. And using the jelly aid of gelatin, psych, agar agar. We're gonna cut up our peach in little smaller pieces for this one. Kinda more like fruit funfetti. But you could do whatever you want here. Experiment with your food. Maybe you choose to do this dish and you want jumbo cuts. I'm not gonna stop you. Banana, you know what to do. If you are gonna cut the top off, only go that far. I dare you. Okay, have all your fruit ready to go. Mise en place, things in place. Look it up. Here we are with coconut water. 
This brand has a good amount of sweetness to it. This is the one you probably get at a convenience store. It has nice little coconut chunks in it. Add your agar agar, stir it a bit, then bring that up to a simmer, stirring occasionally. You really do want all this agar agar to dissolve completely. It's some powerful stuff. You might think, boy, I'm gonna need more than that. Don't do it. Bring it up to a boil, turn off the heat, then add the other two cups of coconut water. And honestly, this will work with any liquid. This is gonna cool it down quickly. And because agar agar sets at room temperature, you wanna go pretty quick because that other bit of liquid has cooled it down. Put in a layer, then add your fruits. Another ladle of our agar agar liquid. Fruits. Right? Make it pretty. Alternate. Design. Finish it off with the rest of your agar agar. I would take the level pretty much to the top, but remember, you're gonna have to move this into your fridge, so maybe not all the way. Once four hours have gone by inside your refrigerator, take a pallet knife or a butter knife and cut all around the rim. And then slice, look at that. Jelly fruit. Take that, Grandma. Bustard. Bustard. Bustard, I've got some organic fruit for you. I shaped it into an animal just the way you like it. Back that goofy jazz away from me, Jeff. I love cake now. I love cake so much, I've decided to turn myself into cake so I can be one with cake. Farewell, bitter world. I've grown sour to your savory torture. No, the fruit fly. Oh, holy Pete, you're hideous. Go, can't we just normalize serving fruit for dessert already? Jeff. Will you click the undo button for me? Yes, but Buster, then we're going to a farmer's market. <laughs>